Hi. Hey. Thank you for having me. Yes. So nice, nice to, to meet see you. you. Nice to meet you too. Yes. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Um, set up. Yeah, right? We, we, can get, we can get a little comfy. I'm just so happy we're here. Me too. To talk about this. 264 million people around the world experience some form of anxiety or panic attacks. Yeah. I know that, including me, most everybody that I know has um, struggled with some kind of anxiety or yeah. panic. It doesn't come down to getting really expensive therapy. Totally. It's just about having conversations like yeah. this and letting it out. I just think it's super important to just talk about it. And I want to ask you, like, what was your first time experiencing anxiety or panic attacks? I didn't really want to call it anxiety for a long time because I think it kind of makes you feel weak. It makes you feel like you're put in a box totally. of sorts. I think I've had it my whole life since I was a kid. I just don't think I was comfortable calling it what it was. I just, I felt so ashamed of it, you know? I just didn't, and I didn't really understand like what was happening to me. Yeah, I definitely relate to not wanting to call it anxiety or not even like knowing that it's anxiety. Yeah. I feel like when I was growing up, I was always told I was like being a brat. Right. Or yeah. like being ungrateful or like having a fit. When in reality, I was kind of dealing with a deeper emotional issue. Right. Do you remember your first anxiety attack? When my parents were getting divorced, that was really when... Ireland was just a toddler when her parents split. A years long, bitter, very public custody battle followed. When she was 11, a devastating voicemail from her father to her was leaked to the press. The worldwide coverage was inescapable. I 